Thursday morning at London's fashionable Spitalfields Market. Since the collapse of the EMI record deal, Rob Davies has been working tirelessly to keep Starman on course for success. Cool. Great, That's mate. Us. You've sorted out a really good spot. Really good spot. It cost uh, 70 quid, so we've got a break even on 70 quid, which shouldn't be too bad. You know? No, it should be all right. His latest scheme is to raise funds by selling banned merchandise. This is a pretty good location and a pretty good, you know, place, and it's full of music and stuff like that, so I don't see why we can't do maybe, like, 300 quid. I've just got a feeling that figure may be a bit extravagant, but we'll see. I know by the end of the day, the voiceover, the voiceover is going to go, and today Rob sold nothing with Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be very happy with, like, 200 quid. Two hours later, and at Spitalfields Market, Rob and Andrew have sold nothing. Excuse me, would you like a T-shirt? You sure? Just want to break the ice, really. You interested in a T-shirt? No, no. No? Just looking. They're very tentative. Would you like a T-shirt? Starman T-shirt? No. Excuse me. Are you interested in any of our T-shirts for your babies? No. Thank you. No? OK. <laughs> Would you like a sausage? <laughs> you enjoying your first turn as market trader? Um, I'll enjoy Little it when... voyage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you taken your tablets this morning? No, uh, yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> I have full respect for um, market traders because they have to get up at all hours of the morning and, you know, they're only as good as their last sale. Yeah. And it's like they do it every day. They're like robots. And, they're, you know, they've got to be on form. They can't just go, you know? Mm. It's a bit like us, really, when we go on stage. Can't afford to not turn up here. So. I think that would suit your baby. It's a bit big, though. It's not his, pink's not his colour, yeah. actually. Oh, it's a he. I thought it was a girl. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Starman, you will be Starman. Together, let's take a magical ride. <laughs> Makes me all feel broody. I'm a little kid. You think a little bit of this has to play magic or rub off on any children you might have? I'd like to think it would, but you can never guess, you know, you never can never tell. Genetically, it doesn't always work that way. It's a bit like when you're bald. Show business is a tough place. Unless you've got a strong backbone, there's no point being there. I think when you have a kid, you love them whatever, you know. With the afternoon wearing on, Rob and Andrew resort to direct marketing techniques in order to kickstart sales. <laughs> it's all about the rump. I would love to walk into EMI with these on me. <laughs> Hi, Miles. <laughs> Done the deal. Yeah, how you doing, RCA? Yeah, 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 yeah. Managing directly. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> I've got real concerns about my manager. I think there's something wrong with him. No, I know there's something wrong with him. I'm quite intuitive when it comes down to um, unstable people. And I definitely think he's unstable. I've got one concern about standing here. <laughs> I don't want to get varicose veins. You get varicose veins if you stand still too long. Get what? Varicose veins. Is that only when you're old? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> 